welcome to FWD Skill Zone. Uh, today I will demonstrate an Arduino based uh, seven segment clock with temperature indication and uh, brightness control. In this demo, uh, I will show you the circuit diagram, the clock function, the temperature function, and then finally we will see the brightness control. So for this project, uh, we will need Arduino board. Uh, I'm using Arduino Nano, but uh, you can use any Arduino uh, family. Uh, we also need a breadboard and few jumper wires. Uh, we need a seven segment display with I2C interface. Uh, I'm using the Adafruit 1.2 inch display, but you can use uh, any seven segment display with I2C uh, capability. We also need a real time clock with I2C interface. Uh, I'm using uh, DS3231RTC module, but similar RTC modules can also uh, be used. We need uh, a push button switch to change the display from a clock to temperature indication. Uh, lastly, uh, we need a 100 kilo ohm resistor uh, and a photo resistor as well, also known as LDR, uh, light dependent resistor. Uh, we will use the LDR to control the brightness of uh, the seven segment display. Uh, here is the circuit diagram. Here we have uh, Arduino uh, Nano. Here we have the RTC module. Here is the seven segment display. And here is the photo cell or the LDR. And here is the 100K resistor. And here is uh, the push button uh, switch. Okay, so next I will show you uh, the circuit design using the freezing software. I'll go to the freezing software and I will show you how you can uh, connect the layout. All right, now let's go to the Fritzing software.
Okay, now we will go ahead and upload three different codes. Uh, the first code will configure the RTC module. Uh, before you use it the first time, you have to configure this RTC module so that it will know the current date and time. <clears throat> so the file is located in the example folder, file, examples, and then you will go to the uh, DS130 RTC and then you click on set time okay so this is the set time code this will configure the RTC module and it will show us the current time on the serial monitor using the 9600 uh, baud rate so I'm gonna go ahead and upload this code uh, so my board is nano my COM port is 16 so everything is fine. I'll go ahead and click upload. And then once the upload is done, I will open the serial monitor and I will see the current uh, date and time. Okay, now if you open the serial monitor and then make sure the baud rate is the same as the one in the code, 9600, and then it will display the current time 1331 which is exactly what's shown here on my clock okay the second code uh, is from the Adafruit backpack library it will display the current time from the RTC module so the file is located here file examples now, in this case, you go to the Adafruit LED backpack library, and then we're gonna use uh, the clock, uh, the clock seven segment DS1307 example file. Okay, this example file will read the current clock from the RTC module and will display to the seven segment display. And then I'll go ahead and upload the next code. It's compiling right now. So in this code, uh, the baud rate is uh, 115200, okay? So the code is uploaded, as you can see it, now it's displaying uh, the clock. And we can check it against our clock, okay? It's like a few seconds late, but the clock is working fine. Okay. Now, this is just reading from the RTC module. The next step, I'm going to show you the code I modified so that we can use the photo cell to adjust the brightness and also to use the switch to display temperature indication as well. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and open the code that I modified. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this code. It's compiling right now. And uh, the, the other thing on the setup, I just added this so that to see, you see this B E E F. So that's because of this line of code. Okay. So now it's displaying 138. And if we see our clock, it's also 138. So it's perfectly working fine. The next step we're going to be doing is we're gonna display the temperature. So I'm gonna press for a few seconds, 29 degree Celsius. Okay, so again, uh, press it, 29 degree Celsius. So the code is modified to display both time and uh, temperature as well. So the next thing we're gonna see is the brightness. So this is a photo sensor, so when I put my hands around, see the display is now dim. But if I let it go, it will be bright. 
it might take a few seconds to sense and then it will adjust the brightness so this is the second future the first one is a temperature display the second one is uh, brightness control so the last thing we're gonna see is uh, let's display it in 24 hours format okay so all we do is we're gonna change this line to true okay so let's go ahead and run the code okay again that's just the test and now it's 1340 okay pretty much 1340 means 140 okay so everything is working fine okay so let's go to the code that shows uh, the clock conversion okay so this is the clock conversion is pretty much easy if hour is reading greater than 12 let's say if it's 13 o'clock then all you do is just subtract 12 hours and do that continuously okay you subtract 12 hours from the 24 hour format that will convert it to a 12 hour format the catch is when it's midnight it's gonna be zero zero which doesn't make sense to display zero zero for a 12 hour format so you have to include that one as well if hour is zero which means midnight then you have to add 12 hours into it then it will display 12 o'clock 12 zero zero okay so uh, that's all i have uh, for today i hope you have enjoyed uh, this demo so if you like it please give me thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel fwd uh, skill down to see more electrical engineering related projectors uh, thanks for staying with me i will see you next time bye bye